What is up guys, Milak here and today we're back in action for another Crush Landing And uh <laughs> And today we're gonna be doing some pretty awesome stuff So last time we fully automated pneumatic craft seeds And if we come up here and look Let's see, let's get up all the way up here uh, You'll see that they're doing their thing right now I've actually been telling them to craft a bunch of plastic uh, So one thing to note that I didn't mention at the end of last video Is all of the seed IDs are different than what they should be For example if we look at seed, like chopper seeds is 28, and then, you know, like this is 18, this is 9, and these IDs are actually different than if we, let's say, look in um, seed. So, like, all this is going to be like, it's going to be like 1 through 14 or 15 or whatever for all these, like you see 1 through 15, and then the, the ones when you actually plant and harvest them, they're actually different. So I had to go through and manually replace all of the IDs in all of my patterns. And I had to replace manually replace all of the IDs and all of the level emitters, the storage buses, and all that kind of stuff behind here. And that fixed my problem. So all the seeds actually work except for helium, uh, which is right here, I think. Or one of them. One of I think, yeah, helium is somewhere. Um, and it doesn't work because it floats straight up. It's kind of like flying, except for flying uh, will eventually gently float down or whatever. But helium just floats straight up. So I'll have to think of something for that. I might actually change this around. I might make it so uh, for helium, the, the guy that throws the seeds throws it straight down or something like that instead of sideways. So, and maybe it'll, it'll like touch the ground fast enough to plant. Um, I'll play with that off camera though. Also, off camera... I built this guy, so I made I made um, the pressure. The pressure is now fully automatic, and it was super simple, guys. I used Steve Factory Manager; it was so easy. Uh, so the pressure is fully automatic now. Um, it it stays constantly at um, well the upper the upper guys up here. Let me let me get these guys. Uh, let me get the manometer right here. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay. So if we come up here. Um, what happens is if we look in the thing, oh balls. If you look in these guys, the pressure is always around 18 bars, okay? So I have the program here set to keep it around 18 bars. And then what happens is I have this turned off at a 4.5 4 uh, threshold level. So it goes 4.5 all the way down through here. And then I have three valves in the back of each of these. So it fills this guy up really fast. Um, so, I made a little program. It's super simple, way easier than this. Pretty much all you got to do is I have a trigger here, and then I have set to all three of these redstone receivers. So if you guys remember, uh, these guys put out a um, certain threshold of um, redstone whenever they, like, depending on the pressure, they put out a certain redstone level. Well, around 18 uh, pressure, they put out a redstone level of 12. So I have redstone right here, and uh, right now they're probably 11, but 11. But once they reach 18, they'll put out 12. And so I have these redstone receivers set to detect a redstone level of 12. So right now I have it set to the trigger is anytime it detects a redstone signal, it turns this on. So um, and it goes every one second. Um, all this is just pretty much normal. It detects any redstone signal, so that's pretty easy. Then the condition is. It's a redstone condition. Um, it detects 12 through 15. So if it detects any redstone levels between 12 and 15, then it's either going to do something or not do something. So if it detects uh, levels between 12 and 15, it outputs a signal strength of zero, which turns these guys off, which turns these guys off. So I have this set to, it only generates on high redstone signal. So we got a, we got a group right there. And then we actually have a group of them if I can get back here over there. So yeah, uh, whenever it, it gets to 12 to 15, it turns it off. Whenever it's not 12 to 15, which means uh, that would be, it would be lower, it uh, max it just maxes the strength out. So pretty much easy, just one condition, um, either it's off or it's on. So yeah, you guys can, um, hopefully that was easily understood because you guys can kind of do that for yourself. It's super easy. So pressure is fully automated now. Um, it works fine. I can start hooking up things and uh, doing all that kind of cool stuff. So let me 
<laughs> let me let me get out of here and then so if you guys enjoyed if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go and click that like button it really help me out and i love y'all's faces and uh remember guys every 100 likes we are going to open up a couple of these bad boys and uh, you guys should just give me likes just because i cool do little cool projects that help you out and uh you know all that kind of cool stuff so <laughs> uh let's let's come over here so we're gonna open up so as you see i removed all the pressure stuff so i'm gonna eventually start migrating if anyone's new to the series uh, this is actually my old base, and I didn't have any of this upper stuff. I'm going to start migrating all the stuff that's down here all the way up there and making it all look fancy and pretty and that kind of stuff. So, eh. Oh, we got a mo uh, invisible mushroom. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, that could have been bad. Why are you invisible, mushroom? Why? Uh... We're gonna, we're gonna keep you. We'll just stick you right there. There you go. Invisible, permanently invisible mushroom. <laughs> oh, and also, uh, sorry if the world didn't work for some people. I'm actually using the the beta. So if the world doesn't work, uh, the it'll it'll work on the normal normal like version. You just gotta load it. I think a second time. It should work on the second time. But I am using the beta. If anyone's curious why the world download last time didn't work out too well. Okay, but yeah, uh, I automated pressure. It's really simple and it's pretty easy and it's freaking fantastic. I think what we're going to be doing today is automating. Um, so pretty much everything in Pneumatic Craft is automated now. We just got to worry about spe speeding it up and uh, yeah, making things faster and that kind of stuff. So we're going to have auto craft a certain amount of plastic and capacitors and transistors. And um, we're going to try to also uh, automate the creation of speed upgrades this episode. And let me grab some food here. Eh. We'll grab this many. Yay. Shut up with your stupid motorcycles outside, stupids. They're stupids. <laughs> okay, so let me, let me get some water here. Um, and I guess we can now... Um, yeah, we can now actually automate the aerial interface. So let me... Uh, let me... Let me get this guy... Um, and I actually did the redstone automation for that right after last episode. I was, I still wanted to play with it. So, um, the only problem we're going to have with this is sending this a redstone signal. Do we have a clock or something similar in this? Oh, we do. Okay. Well, there we go. This is, this is done then. Sweet. So let's, uh, hmm. Huh. Let's kill this guy. We'll take one of these water things and then let's uh, get rid of all of these guys Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, <laughs> uh, Okay, so let me let me kill all these guys We're gonna automate the water and this is gonna make my life so much easier like it's gonna make it so much easier It's gonna be amazing um, Okay, there we go. Okay, let's let's what are they doing outside? Shut up! Shut up! I'm gonna go murder some motorcycle people here in a second, guys. So if I'm in prison, then I'm sorry. But I still love you. <laughs> okay, so, um... Let me, let me fly up here. I guess we'll just stick it up here since this is the high pressure area. Well, so where is the... So the regulator tube is right there, so we probably actually want to come off this guy. Um... You know what we'll do is I need some room. So do I have any advanced pressure tubes? Okay, we're back. So I made some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and teach it this recipe right here. So um, four valves equals eight advanced pressure tubes. Sweet. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, get back upstairs and uh, we'll automate this guy. I was also thinking, so we're going to try to automate the creation of cake and speed potions today to get some speed upgrades. Um, so that'll be pretty awesome. Once we have that, we can speed this all this stuff up and it'll be freaking amazing. Um, so let's just stick uh, this guy right there, sweet. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in here. Should automatically grab it and do its thing. And then I'm still kinda, even though I feel like this is automated, I'm still kinda paranoid like stuff is gonna explode. Oh no, everything looks fine. Yeah, looks like it's working great. I've been, it's been doing this, uh, it's been working for several hours already, so yeah. And I have the regulation tube, so I only let 4.5 pass and all that kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, okay, so I need to come back up here. Uh, we wanna put, 
Uh, the aerial interface, let's see, we probably want to stick it maybe right here. Okay, and then we want to stick advanced pressure tubes right here. Okay, so it'll start doing stuff now. So now we want to say, put this guy here, and then we're going to say item duct right here, um, cover right there. Then we want to say item duct right here. There we go. So uh, we want to do a couple servos. So we want to pull out of here and then pull out of here. Okay, so we'll want to pull out a full one from the top and put it back in. We'll just say ignored. Uh, yeah, there we go. That works out fine. So a full camel pack. And then we want to say pull out an empty camel pack. Oh, so look, these guys are actually working right now. Uh, sick. I love seeing this work. Just automatically, just automatically do stuff. Uh, <laughs> I said automatically twice just now. Uh, let me... 18 bars. Yeah, this this works perfect. I'm like I'm really surprised at how well this actually works. Um, okay, so now we need to stick water in here. So this will give me 256 um, attempts at this. Uh, where, how do we want to do this? Uh, let's just let's just stick that there. And we'll stick a fluid duct right here, and then we'll automate the putting the water in this here in a second. But uh, for now, I'm just going to say right there. Right there, perfect. So water comes in here. There we go. So this will be 256 attempts at this. Yeah, so we're going to say pull out of here and then pull out of here. And then I'm going to have to wait until my camel pack is actually empty. Hmm. You know, while we're waiting, let's, uh, let's go do some other stuff. So, um, oh, I need a clock, right? I need a clock, so it needs this stuff. So let's jump down here. Let's make a clock. Uh, clock, boomy, perfect, perfect. Okay, so this should work fine. Um, I know it needs a redstone signal, but I'm not exactly sure if this will just work fine. So will that just work fine? Hopefully. Hopefully it does. I might have to put a uh, repeater or something on it. I'm not sure. But hopefully this works fine. And... Uh, Looks like the pressure is fine as well. So we got 16, 17, 18. Perfect. Um, says I'm not on the server, but that's fine. Okay, yeah, that looks that looks fine. Okay, so now we just got to wait until our thing fills out. So what I want to do is I told this to make a couple test racks. Is it still making test racks? Let's see, test racks. Okay, so we have two of these, you guys. Now, let me grab us some more servos, pneumatic servo. And I want to make another one of these uh, liquid crafters. Liquid crafter, we'll make another one of these guys. There we go. Now we need a interface. Let's see, interface. Boom. Oh, balls. Eh. Okay, so it's making the interface. There we go. Okay, so we have an interface. I love having automated stuff. It's so sick. Also, I've been telling this to make a lot of plastic. Let's look at the plastic here. We almost have 500 of uh, these plastics, which is what we need for stuff. Um, the only problem I see with this is automating is that it can't automate too many things at once. That requires a lot of stuff. For example, like we can't do 256 capacitors because then it needs it needs uh, compressed iron, redstone, and plastic. And it'll put like a bunch of one thing in there, but not the other. So it doesn't know how to dynamically put things in this. So we might have to do some volume upgrades or something in this. I'm not sure if volume upgrades work, but uh, we'll try it out. Uh, but with this fully full of pressure, it does things pretty fast. I'm not even sure if we need speed upgrades in this, but we'll probably put speed upgrades in this anyways. Okay, so we have Tesseracts. Um, we have Pneumax servos. We have Fluidux. Interface, Liquid Crafter. Uh, for now, I think I'm going to stick this guy just right here, maybe? And we can move this later. So, and then I want to say... And then we're going to make a new frequency. We'll just name this 5, and we'll call it Milk. Milk A. 
Okay, so milk A, and then we want to say, uh, 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 uh. So receiving fluid only. Milk A is receiving fluid only. Um, okay, so, and then cake. What do we need for cake? So cake needs milk, sugar, eggs, and wheat. Okay, so egg, uh, eggs, wheat. Oh, we don't have any wheat and sugar. We have plenty. Well, we will once I put all the sugar in there. Okay, so sugar, egg. So we're just going to say sugar, sugar, egg, and the bottom is going to be wheat. So I actually need to make a wheat and carrot farm for the breeding and just so we have some wheat. Okay, we're back. So I set up a little basic wheat farm here, just nothing special. And this is just going to be a little temporary place. So I just have... Um, all the ju all the stuff going into this guy here, and then I'm putting the wheat here, and then we actually have a storage bus underneath the wheat right here. Uh, balls. Well, that sucks. Um, <laughs> but we have a storage bus underneath the wheat, so the wheat should be good. I actually used like six stacks of bone meal and uh, um, got a bunch of wheat just so that we could have some. And then if we come over here, um, I'll eventually hook up the wheat to this guy up here, but I'm not too worried about it right now. Because uh, I think the rancher or the breeder uses a lot of wheat, so we want all of that for a cake. Um, so let's uh, let's come up here. And this guy actually works now. So I just did the side right here, but it's pretty much the same. And I put the clock underneath, and uh, it just takes uh, it automatically does it. Uh, it doesn't take it out of this guy. It has to after the empty one has to be here. The empty camel pack has to be in your inventory. Uh, but that's pretty easy. Uh, so now let's do the cake. Now we need some wheat. Yeah, there we go. So let's just eh eh eh. We got a cake. Sweet. Uh, so let's get some eggs. Um, eggs, let's see, uh, sugar, um, sugar, and then let's get a milk bucket. Okay, let's go make the recipe. This is going to be pretty nice. Uh, yeah, <laughs> unequip that. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, so let's come down. I need to move all of this stuff up here. Like, it's kind of annoying to come down here every single time to do this, but, um, it's a slow process, so we want egg, uh, wheat, um, sugar, sugar, and then milk, milk, milk. There we go. We got a cake, guys. Yes. Uh, so let's just stick all of this in here. And uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, let me grab a bunch of the sugar right here. Let's see. Oh, we have a crap ton of eggs right here. Let's just grab all of this. There we go. Actually, I actually have a chicken farm downstairs that just, they're, well, it's not a chicken farm. It's an egg farm, pretty much. It's laying all the eggs and, like, uh, putting it into a transition plane. Okay, so I need a bunch of sugar. This is all from the witches, so I have a crap ton of this kind of stuff. There we go. So let's, uh, oh, yeah, I need to go put the recipe up here, and then uh, we'll be good. Uh, eat some supreme pizza. Yes. <laughs> uh, but so cake is now automated. Uh, so now let's let's test it out real quick. Let's test it out. So we got this guy. Let's make a cake. Oh wow! Okay, that made it instantly. Um, now the clock. Oh oh yeah. Now we want it to. Uh, let's um. Until I do this, let's uh, put a cake here. There we go. So let's just. Okay, so let's make another cake. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. We have cake automation now. So that works perfectly. Now we got to make some speed potions. So we need to automate speed potions. So I think, uh, well, let's look up speed upgrade. So this requires a three minute potion of swiftness. So potion of swiftness, three minute. All it is is sugar and an awkward potion. So let's, uh, okay, so I moved everything over here and we have, uh, you know, cake automated and now we're gonna automate the water bottle. So I'm gonna do an Atomus activator here, a uh, portable tank, and then we're going to do this guy. I went ahead and did a water frequency downstairs. So uh, this should, um, let's see, now we just gotta say, we'll say, uh, that like that, and then we're gonna say, let's see, the back. Okay, so that's the back. 
Um, let's do this side. So this is now the back. Okay, sweet. And we're going to say this, and then we're going to say export water bottles. Okay, there we go. So this should work, if I'm not mistaken. Let's uh, tell this to go upwards. Now I just need to go make a recipe for it. So one empty water bottle equals one full water bottle. Uh, so, yeah, this seems like the simplest way to automate water bottles. I could be wrong, though. And I used portable tank because I didn't really want to use the full drum. It seemed kind of a waste. So we're going to say one empty water bottle equals one filled water bottle. Um, sweet. And uh, we'll, we'll test it out here in a second. Uh, let's check on our water real quick. I'll show you guys what I did. So I just took one of these drums and had it export. So, yeah, it does water. That kind of cool stuff. So, yeah, works out pretty well. I think anyways. Okay, well, there we go. Um, let's just, uh, let's test this out. So if I stick this guy in here. First slot. Uh, we might want to. Yeah, we'll probably want to buffer this guy. So let me, let me just do uh, cobblestone. And then do we have a water bottle in here? So if we do, then yes, it does work. Okay, sweet. So it does work. Um, that's perfect. We'll say first slot only, right click. Okay, there we go. Sweet. So this is done. So we have water bottles. We have cake. And now we need to automate this guy. So I'm going to need a, another interface. I've never actually played with these guys before. Um, but let me, let me get another interface here. We'll tell this to uh, go ahead and start making its thing. Okay, and then now we're, I'm going to stick a water bottle in here. Let me go ahead and craft another one of these guys. There we go. Okay, sweet. I love automated water bottles. Then we're going to say nether wart. Actually, I'm going to take out one of these guys and have two of these turn into nether wart. And then hopefully this guy over here is a lot faster. Um, I'm not exactly sure yet. So let's grab our interface. There we go. Okay, so I figured out the auto brewer pretty much. Let's go ahead and stick this in here. So we're going to need, let's see, a water bottle, a nether wart, and a piece of sugar. And it's going to make one potion of swiftness. So let's go ahead and stick this in here. And I have a bunch of potion of swiftnesses right there. So let's go back up top and automate the potion of swiftness, and then we'll be done, guys. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll be done. Yeah, it's taken me a little bit. I've never used it before, so it's taken me a little bit to figure it out. I had to look it up and kind of mess with it and that kind of stuff. So, uh, pretty much you just in the type. This is the stages. Um, I don't think I need this potion of swiftness right here, but I just put it there anyways. But uh, the type is nether wart, and then you do you do it in order. So nether wart turns into awkward, sugar turns into swiftness, and that kind of stuff. So, if we go over here and hit, um, let's see. Uh, potion of swiftness. Let me go ahead and get these guys out and tell it to craft. It should automatically know how to do everything and stick it in the right. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Sweet. Now we want to say import bus. Uh, we want to tell it to uh, take out this guy right here. So this is the final stage. Is it going to pull out the potion of swiftness? Okay, so it doesn't pull out the potion of swiftness for some reason. Um, this might be a problem. What if I stick this right here? If I stick a potion of swiftness right there. Okay, looks like... Okay, well, let's try this one more time and uh, see if we got it. So... Potion of Swiftness. Let me get all these guys out. Um, oh, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't put the recipe back in here. Dang it. Maybe, maybe uh, it was messed up because it had that thing right there. I'm not sure. Or maybe it's just slow and dumb. So let's just come back over here. Uh, swiftness. Potion of Swiftness. Uh, let's come back over here. So it's going to do its thing. Puts one nether wart, one sugar in here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's going to turn into a potion of swiftness. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! And it pulls it out. Okay, potions of swiftness, cake, 
and all that stuff is automated. Now we can make speed upgrades. So uh, uh, let me let me put all this stuff back in here. Um, Tesseract, Liquid Crafter, all of the stuff. We don't need any of this stuff right now. Um, yes. Okay. So okay. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Eh. Stick in here. Automatically takes out my inventory, and then in a second you'll notice it pops back up right here. Let me go ahead and stick some of the stuff in here. There we go. Look, look, there's my full camel pack. Sweet. Okay, so now let's make a recipe for speed upgrades. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pile oh, maybe, maybe not. Let's make a let's make a recipe for speed upgrades real quick. And then uh, we'll start putting speed upgrades and stuff and make everything a lot faster and be freaking fantastic. Um, so speed upgrades. We need potions of swiftness and lapis and cake. Okay, well. That's done. Let's do uh, speed. Let's make one of these guys. There we go. Yes. It works, guys. It works. Nice. So let's say I wanted 10 of these. Uh, let's go back upstairs and see what it does. And this, this is amazing. This is amazing. Okay. So I'm super excited about this. Um, so it should be doing stuff over here. Now, this is going to be kind of slow, so it's going to take a little bit. Um, okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that's just, okay. So it's just, uh, taking its sweet time. Okay, guys, dude, guys, we have, we have automated swiftness. Autom wait, what? Uh, um, um, okay, that was strange. Anyways, uh, we're going to be able to make these super fast. We're going to be able to make these super fast and these super fast. Now, uh, I want to see, what are these called? Uh, machine upgrade. Okay, so let's look up, um, uh, machine upgrade. Let's see, machine upgrade. So we're going to want to put speed in all this stuff. And then we're going to want to put, um, see, maybe volume, maybe item life. The rest of the stuff I don't really care that much about, but item life, item life is pretty easy. Um, volume, volume is pretty easy. Okay. So it looks like speed was the most complicated one that we had. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, see, <laughs> this is going to take a little bit. Um, speed. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit, but we have, we have five of five upgrades right here. I want to know how much it actually stacks. Uh, let's go ahead and make a PCB and see how fast it goes. Um, PCB. Um, let's just stick this guy in here. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Even with five, that is super fast. Oh my God, that is so much faster. Holy balls, that is fast. Uh, okay. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this here, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, I, d I definitely say this episode is a win for sure. Um, I'm going to be working on the speed upgrades off camera. We're going to try to max out the speed. Or I'm going to try to max out the speed in all three of these things. I'm probably going to go ahead and put volume and item life and stuff in here. And then next time, we'll play with it and test it and see how it goes. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and click that like button. It really helped me out. I love y'all's faces. And I'll see you guys next time.